Welcome to the Power PMAX Servo Loop Tuning Training Video. Tuning is the process of adjusting the gains PMAC uses in its position and velocity loop in order to minimize following error. Following error is the difference between actual position and commanded position and is a measure of how well your motor tracks the trajectory you command to it. This video will demonstrate how to interactively choose gains for your position and velocity loop. You do not need a degree in servo theory in order to understand this process. It is possible to theoretically choose your servo loop gains, but this video does not demonstrate how to do this. Instead, this video offers a practical set of guidelines for tuning interactively and systematically. The basic parameters that we need to modify when tuning are as follows. Proportional gain, KP, derivative gain, KD or KVFB, velocity feed forward, KVFF, integral gain, KI, integration mode, acceleration feed forward, KAFF, and friction feed forward, KFFF. The first parameter is the proportional gain, KP. This gain directly multiplies the motor's following error. It is directly related to the bandwidth, or the closed loop natural frequency of your system, which dictates how quickly you can move the motor. Increasing KP will cause your motor to respond more rapidly to changes in commanded position, but be careful because setting it too high can cause your motor to oscillate dangerously. The next parameter is the derivative gain, which is also called KVFB or KD. This gain multiplies the negative of your motor's speed, effectively dampening the motor's motion. This gain serves to limit uncontrolled oscillation in the motor's motion, thereby stabilizing the motor. Thus, it is natural to choose a KP sufficiently large to produce the desired bandwidth, and then damp the response with KD to make it more stable. Velocity feed forward, or KVFF, eliminates steady state error at constant speed. Steady state error is the falling error once the motor has come to rest. Integral gain, or KI, multiplies the sum of falling error over time. Theoretically, this gain guarantees zero steady state error, so it is used to ensure that the motor eventually reaches the commanded position as time goes to infinity. It is also used to compensate for body forces that are always present, such as friction and gravity, which are affecting the system. For certain types of axes, such as a vertical axis on a machine tool, this gain is completely necessary. You can choose when to turn on KI using the integration mode parameter, motorx.servo.swzvint. Acceleration feedforward, or KAFF, eliminates steady state error at constant acceleration. And lastly, friction feedforward, or KFFF, is used to help the motor to overcome static friction at the onset of a move. The first step to tuning your motor is to set the integration mode, motorx.servo.swzvint, as desired. This parameter can be changed on the fly as needed. When you set it equal to 1, the position error integration is performed only when the motor is not commanding a move. If you set it equal to 0, the position error integration is performed always. We recommend setting it equal to 0 when tuning your step response in step 2, then set it equal to 1 when tuning the parabolic movement step 3, then set it back to 0 after you've finished tuning. The second step is to subject your motor to a step move. This instantaneously commands a position of the motor, and the motor attempts to reach that position immediately. Use this test trajectory to tune KP, KD, and KI, usually in that order. Once you have finished tuning these gains, move on to the third step, tuning with the parabolic move. We use this test trajectory to tune KVFF, KAFF, and KFFF, usually in that order. If your amplifier closes the velocity loop, you can set the derivative gain terms to zero. If you are using a torque mode amplifier, however, requiring PMAC to close the velocity loop, you must use derivative gain terms in order to stabilize your motor. To find the step response test trajectory from within the IDE, first click Tools, then Tune. Then click on Position Loop, Interactive Tuning, and then click the Step tab. Choose a step size that is one half to one quarter of a revolution of the motor if it is a rotary motor or within one half to one quarter of one electrical cycle if it is a linear motor. For example, if you have a 2000 counts per revolution encoder on your rotary motor, you want to set this step size between 500 and 1000 counts 